guys, it's Jen from Lighthearted. So January marks the two year anniversary that I've been living in my house and I thought it was time to do some updates to my curb appeal. And the first thing on my to-do list was to repaint my front door. So as you can see, it's been this like muted red color and I really wanted to actually change it and do it a little bit of a brighter red to really make it sure it pops against my white walls. So today I'm gonna show you how to update this front door. So in order to get started, the first thing you want to do is to tape off any glass or hardware that you don't want to be painted. So I'm going to use this Scotch Painters Blue Tape and just kind of go along the lines of uh, blocking off what I don't want painted. I've got everything taped off and then the next step is going to be to sand it. It's really good to kind of take off any of that finish that's on the door from the previous paint job. So I'm just gonna use a sand block. You can also use an electric sander. This one is the sand block that's got a, at least 180 grit. Sanding's really gonna help make that primer stick to the door. After you're done sanding, you just wanna take a, a rag and wipe down any dust or dirt that may remain on the door before you start to add the primer to it. Next step is to add the primer. So to get started, I like to use this angled brush. It really helps to get into these kind of nook and crannies that you've got uh, in the grooves here. So I like to use a water-based primer. It'll kind of really help uh, adhere to the wood door. So using an angled brush, it's really gonna help you get into these corners and you really want to make sure that you clean up any extra paint that may pool in the corners. So I've added my second coat of primer and I've let it dry completely. And this primer is going to act as a really good base or foundation for this bright red that I'm going to use. And I've decided to go with a Benjamin Moore color called Ruby Red and a high gloss finish. So using my angle brush again, I'm going to uh, get into kind of my, my corners and my nooks and crannies with this red color. To finish up the paint job, I'm actually going to use a roller on the bigger panels of the door. Using a roller is really going to help to give you that more of a smooth finish across the whole entire space that you're painting. When shopping for a roller, make sure you look for one that's best to be used on smooth surfaces like doors and cabinets. Now that my door is all done and painted, the next step I'm going to do is actually paint my trim uh, black so that it really makes this bright new red door that I did really pop uh, against the white of my house. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on I Am Like Hearted for new DIY videos every Friday.